yeah good morning students so in this video uh, we are trying to explore the concepts of piggybacking uh, which can improve the performance of previous protocols like uh, stop and wait go, arq go back and arq and uh, selective repeat arq so the concept of this uh, piggybacking is in general when a frame is sent we are waiting for the acknowledgement so the responsibility of the receiver is to prepare a frame as a acknowledgement and that is sent to the sender so that sender can have a confirmation that okay sent a frame is received properly at the receiver in that way he is going to close that uh, transmission of that frame so this way for each and every frame for each and every frame there are two packets which are traversing in the network one is frame and another is acknowledgement so if you are sending 100 frames 100 acknowledgements are existed in the network so bandwidth of that link is not only used for your data that also used for acknowledgements which are not part of our data transfer in general so we are interested in what uh, sending the data so in order to send your data every frame is associated with one more frame called as an acknowledgement so that bandwidth is half of the bandwidth only used for the data transmission and remaining half is used for the acknowledgements so in order to avoid this and in order to reduce this uh, we want to use that entire bandwidth for data transmission let us say so far we are talking about unidirectional data transfer like uh, uh, sender is sending and the receiver is receiving and preparing a frame back so in real time environment both a and b missions let us say sender and receiver are capable of sending the data are capable of sending the data so when i prepare my frame and i will send a frame to receiver and what receiver will do is receiver also having some data to send back to the sender okay in that cases the acknowledgement for the previously received frame can be combined with the data what we are going to send i repeat uh, when i want to send a frame okay we will send the frame data frame let us say and uh, what receiver will do is instead of preparing acknowledgement and the only that acknowledgement is sent in the uh, replay transmission we, it is waiting for some time and if is there any data to be sent from receiver to sender from receiver to sender then your acknowledgement for the previously received frame is attached to that uh, data frame so that in that data transfer you are not only doing acknowledgement uh, transmission you are doing data transmission and to that data our acknowledgement is added to that data our acknowledgement is added so that if you do in this manner both directions are making use of data transmission so that half of the efficiency of band, uh, channel bandwidth is increased half of the efficiency of the channel bandwidth is increased because we are not using uh, dedicated frame for the acknowledgement it is waiting so you may have a doubt like sir what happens if the receiver is not having any data data to send back to the sender means in that cases we go for the worst scenario where it is going to prepare acknowledgement and that acknowledgement is sent but it is not always true sometimes definitely the system is going to send some data back as it is communicating with uh, other system there should be a way to give its data so to that data frame acknowledgements are attached so that bandwidth of the channel is properly utilized this is a concept of piggybacking so in case of piggybacking uh, the acknowledgement is delayed the acknowledgement is delayed so whenever i send a frame let us say uh, sender sent a frame one and then receiver uh, supposed to send acknowledgement as two so before sending that acknowledgement it is going to wait for some time it is going to wait for some time and receiver also having some data to send at that time after in that waiting period data is prepared by the receiver and then to that data frame this acknowledgement is hooked this acknowledgement is hooked and that is going to traverse in the medium so that what is traverse means actually for the sake of understanding uh, receiver is sending the data back to data not acknowledge data back to the sender but to that data only acknowledgement for the previous frame is attached acknowledgement for the previous frame is attached this way the outgoing data frames of receiver are hooked with the 
this acknowledgement the process of binding acknowledgements to the previous acknowledgements to the current data frame is called as piggy backing so which is to improve the performance which is to improve the performance of the channel utilization okay channel is properly utilized so this way piggy backing concept is existed so let me see this one with a diagrammatic fashion yeah so if you observe this diagram there are two stations station x and station y station x and station y station x want to send a data frame okay x has data to send so data frame is sent now when data frame is sent and that is received by the uh, station y that is received by the station y and y has some data to send see in this case data of y system is sent and uh, it is supposed to give acknowledgement also right that acknowledgement is binded with that data see this data plus acknowledgement now by taking this one this acknowledgement is a reception of previous frame and data also received and now now x is acting like a receiver now what is the job of the receiver he, he has to prepare a acknowledgement he has to prepare a acknowledgement when station x receives the frame it is having a responsibility of sending acknowledgements so at the same time station x is having some data to send so the data is acknowledged the data is hooked with the acknowledgement for the previous one previous one means the frame which is received from the y so now the transmission is data means new data from station x acknowledgement means uh, acknowledgement to the previously received data from station x similarly see this in last scenario y station is not having data to send at that time but it it is it received an acknowledgement it it received a data it received a data from the station x so what it is going to do is it is going to wait for some time it is going to wait for some time if data is available at station y the acknowledgement is combined with that data if there is no data from the station y then it is normal process it is going to prepare the frame acknowledgement frame and that acknowledgement alone sent up in this case we can't uh, claim the advantage of this uh, piggybacking so see this sir. in this case it is working like a normal procedure right a data data is received and acknowledgement is sent so acknowledgement is arrived this way whenever it is possible to bind this acknowledgement with the data it is going to bind those two and those two are prepared like one frame those two are prepared like one frame so that in one frame only data is sent as well as acknowledgement is sent okay and you may have a question like a uh, uh, acknowledgement and frame both are not having same size the frame is a bigger one acknowledgement is a number very simple acknowledgement is a number like uh, if i send frame one we get an acknowledgement of frame two if i get frame two now now if you want to give an acknowledgement for the receiver then frame three is an it is just like a number that number is merged into a data packet that number is merged in some part of the data frame in order to fetch the advantage of this uh channel utilization channel bandwidth utilization okay so we will see this in uh, next slide so if you here you can understand that uh, concept with sequence numbers also okay see this there are two stations a and b uh, now uh, both are acting like sender and receiver it is bidirectional data transfer remember in bidirectional data transfer only we use it to go with piggybacking it is not unidirectional okay so now see this we have sent a frame 0 when frame 0 is sent acknowledgement 0 also sent acknowledgement 0 also sent what does it mean means previously we already got frame 0 and acknowledgement is sent and then at sender side what is expected means one is expected one is expected so that acknowledgement one is added to frame 0 of b station see observe here frame a want to send frame the station a want to send frame 0 it is its own content similarly station b also having its own content numbered with frame 0 you don't confuse with that both can send frame 0 but not identi uh, identical here it is having its own content like frame 0 frame 1 it is also having its own content with a number of frame frame 0 and frame 1 so when we send frame 0 and what it is going to send is acknowledgement is sent 
what acknowledgement will indicate a next frame to be sent so frame a is expecting zero it frame from the b station it is sending its own frame zero and a frame b also sending its uh, also about to send its uh, frame zero so frame zero sent uh, frame zero is sent by the station b its own frame zero so that's the reason the expected frame by a is zero so that's the reason it is going to send frame zero but previously what it is received frame zero is received from a station so acknowledgement one is added here once it is received here it indicates uh, expected frame by b is what frame one expected frame by b is frame one but as we have already received frame zero to this we need to give an acknowledgement to this we need to give an acknowledgement that is acknowledgement one so in this second transmission frame one is sent and acknowledgement one is sent this acknowledgement one is acknowledging the frames received from the b what we have received from b frame zero so frame zero is received what is expected frame one is expected that acknowledgement is given and similarly when this when it is received here so it is sent, saying that uh, frame one you take it uh, acknowledgement one means this a station is expecting what a station is expecting acknowledgement one means frame one is expected so frame one is sent by this b frame one and uh, what acknowledgement it now it is going to send means acknowledgement zero acknowledgement zero in the sense now it is expecting zero at the frame so as it is having a binary uh, modular two arithmetic uh, sequence numbers are zero one zero one zero one like that that's the reason upon receiving this frame one it is going to send upon receiving frame one as acknowledgement is one as acknowledgement is one and it is going to send next frame what is next frame when acknowledgement is one it is zero in binary arithmetic when you when you get an acknowledgement of one we need to send zero when you get an acknowledgement of zero we need to send one this way the piggybacking concept is used with the help of the sequence numbers okay so uh, let me uh, explain the scenarios uh, in this case the basic principle of piggybacking uh, with the example of that station x and station y there are three cases the first one is if x is having both data and acknowledgement okay this acknowledgement is hooked to the hooked to the data and uh, that is acknowledged so the first case is the station x has both data and acknowledgement to send then it sends the data frame with acknowledgement field containing sequence number of the frame to be acknowledged so which frame we want to acknowledge that acknowledgement is added that acknowledgement is added that is first scenario in second scenario x is having only acknowledgement so what it is going to do is it is going to wait for some unit of time and during that uh, duration if data is prepared by station x to that data acknowledgement is attached to that data acknowledgement is attached and that is forwarded see this if x has only an acknowledgement to send it wait for some period of time to see whether data frame is available to be sent or not if data frame is becomes available then it is piggybacks the acknowledgement with it otherwise only acknowledgement is sent the second scenario and the third scenario is if x has only data frame to send if x has only data frame to send it adds the last acknowledgement so we have not received anything as of now we don't want to give any acknowledgement huh? but previously we have received some uh, frame right that frame acknowledgement is sent so in this duration we have not received but uh, uh, before 10 seconds or before 20 seconds we may received one frame right and to that frame only that acknowledgement is sent okay let me read out if x has only data frame to send it adds the last acknowledgement with it the station by discard all the duplicate acknowledgements because it is already received and that acknowledgement is already sent but for the sake of understanding that acknowledgement field uh, should not be empty and previous acknowledgement we added and it is kept, uh, it is uh, recognized by the receiver saying that it is a duplicate acknowledgement because it is already sent uh, for the sake of uh, this one it should not be empty uh, that is the reason we are adding a previously uh, previous acknowledgement to the receiver so that is recognized by the receiver and it is removed by the receiver 
otherwise there is an alternate also why you always taking the duplicate acknowledgement and removing it so sender x send data frame acknowledgement field contains uh, a bits combination uh, which indicates no acknowledgement so there are two things when you have only data what what is contained in acknowledgement i said already frame is prepared with what frame is prepared with two fields data and acknowledgement in piggy backing now if you don't have any acknowledgement to send what is the content of that acknowledgement field that content may be previous acknowledgement number and if you push previous acknowledgement number the problem is this acknowledgement is already pre in previous transmissions itself that acknowledgement is given why again you are giving the same acknowledgement and the receiver is capable of identifying it is a duplicate acknowledgement because it is already received it is a duplicate acknowledgement in this sense we can develop otherwise why to waste our time by sending this acknowledgement and sender receives it as a duplicate and remove it and to that there may be a special code which indicates there is no acknowledgement to send from the sender side there is no acknowledgement to be sent from the sender side then it is going to send only data frame this way this piggy backing concept is applied on you can apply it on go back and or you can apply it on selective repeat uh, protocols okay now in this case piggy backing is applied to go back and some of the one of the protocol where piggy backing can be applicable now in piggy back when piggy backing is applied to go back and now both are acting like sender and receiver right in piggy go back and uh, whenever it is acting like a sender it is having a window size whenever it is act sender is acting like a receiver then it is having a window size of 1 as we all already know in go back and scenario sender will have 2 power m minus 1 window size means those many number of frames can be sent by the sender but how many are received by the receiver means it is only one it is only one 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 uh, uh, one is the size of the receiver side window but in this case when piggy backing is applied it is not unidirectional data transfer it is bidirectional data when it is bidirectional sometimes the station may act like a sender and sometimes it it may act like a receiver similarly to that station also that is the reason both windows are maintained at a uh, sender and receiver uh, one is for when it is acting like a sender one is when it is acting like a receiver similarly for that so now again uh, events are also same events are associated uh, three events are associated here three events are associated here when it is acting like a receiver only one event is active uh, associated whenever it is acting like a sender three events are associated similarly uh, vice versa okay this way a piggy backing can be applied so if you observe this uh, frames acknowledgement number is existed sequence number is existed and frame data is existed so every packet you take every packet you take it consisting of what is the sequence number of this frame and which which acknowledgement is given by this data frame that acknowledgement number also there acknowledgement sequence number and its content these three things are included in one data frame so that acknowledgements are uh, pig backs to the data frame that is the reason it is called as piggy backing okay and then we will talk about one of the example of uh, this data link layer protocol hdlc high level data, data link control protocol which is bit oriented protocol we have two types of protocols like bit oriented or byte oriented uh, if you are making use of bits bits for uh, representing where frame starts where frame ends and when there is a problem of uh, duplication uh, i mean redundant data inside the data which is representing the flags we may come across bit stuffing and byte those things we have seen right so this concept is related to bit oriented protocol and it is generally used in a network where you have point to point uh, communication or multi point in both cases this hdls can be used hdlc one of the example of data link layer protocol to implement the concept of flow control okay it can be applied on two two kind of channels like a point to point channel or multi point links point to point means only one sender one receiver then the data communication taking place multi multi point links means uh, when one channel is there it can be connected by more than one node more than one node in that case also this port, uh, this hdlc protocol will work this hdlc make use of this arq mechanism that is automatic repeat request uh, mechanisms so that uh, all the benefits what we are uh, discussed in the previous scenarios like go back and or uh, selective repeat 
all our air queue mechanisms only so that air queue mechanism is implemented by this hd lc which is one of the example of data link layer protocol now uh, in hd lc what it is going to define is mode okay in which mode that hd lc is working now what is that mode means that mode will indicate who is going to initiate the data transfer if there are sender and receiver let us say client and server client and server who are master and who are slaves based on this concept modes are defined in the high level data link control protocol hdlc okay uh, which relationship existed between these two systems is indicating the mode relationship in the sense who is master and who is client uh, clients are allowed to do the activities when master gives the instruction when there is no instruction from the master clients are sitting ideal this relation we call it as master slave relation or uh, server client relation but this is not existed in all cases in some cases all are equal uh, any any system can start initiation of data transfer that is one kind of mode if only initiation is taken by one dedicated system that we call it as another kind of mode so if you observe here there are two modes of communication existed in hdlc one is normal response mode and another is asynchronous balanced mode normal response mode means it is showing the relation between primary and secondary primary station will give a command then secondary station will respond to the commands given by the primary station so this way primary station is master whereas remaining all are slaves those will act according to the instructions given by the master that kind of mode we call it as a normal response mode and if you are having both systems like uh, okay all are equal any system can do the data transfer at any time any system can give the instruction to any other system that we call it as asynchronous balanced mode we will see that diagram in next slide so now you can understand from this diagram very 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 simple diagrams we have given so see this now in the normal response mode i already told you it is showing the relation like primary and secondary systems secondary device must have permission from the primary before it is transmitting the data so all are sitting ideal and waiting for the commands from primary station see this in primary station if it is point to point it is primary and it is sec only one channel only one uh, device is attached to that uh, link so in that case primary system will give a command and after receiving the command by the secondary secondary system will give a response so this we call it as a normal a normal mode response in point to point link in point to point link but when you take this one multi point the channel is attached with more than one system the channel is attached with more than one system in this case also a command is broadcasted to all there are many scenarios uh, you can give command to everyone that we call it as a broadcast you, the primary station can give command to the individual system among the group that is unicasting or it can give command to the systems a group of systems let us say if there are 100 systems i want to give command to only 10 systems and that also possible so the primary system will send a command and some of the systems are going to respond some of the systems are going to respond in this way so this we call it as a normal response mode where secondary systems are always giving responses back to the sender upon receiving the command until that command is received at the receiver it is not supposed to access that channel for data transmission okay this is simple method but it is not always existed nowadays uh, we uh, we are in a uh, interactive world any node can do the data transmission at, at any time we don't want to wait for the commands uh, from the other system so if it is a scenario then we make use of second mode that is asynchronous balanced mode asynchronous in asynchronous balanced mode all stations are equal in its capabilities uh, that means combined combined stations are connected to point to point combined stations in the sense uh, it can send command or it can send response it is acting like both very simple both roles are given to all the systems if you observe this diagram you can easily understand Uh, combined systems in the sense no primary no secondary all are equal so now what cap what is the capability of this system means it can send command or it can receive the it can give the responses to the previous system similarly it is applicable for all this all the nodes which are connected to this channel so this way asynchronous balanced mode is existed now comes to most important point of this hdlc 
when hdl uh, we we are talking about uh, so far in previous protocols we talk about frame uh, is prepared by the data link layer and that frame consisting of uh, uh, information which is coming from the above layer that is network layer and headers are added uh, to represent this flow control error control or to represent where frame is starting where frame is ending all these things are uh, discussed theoretically now comes to hdlc which is a practical implementation of this data link layer uh, protocol here it is having different kinds of frames frames always need not to be equal frames are sent from one station to another station for different purposes for example i have data i prepare a frame i will send it that we call it as information frame i frame no what we want to do is i don't have data but i want to prepare an acknowledgement for you it is not data actually it is not data i am giving an acknowledgement to you so such kind of frames comes under yes frames okay these are acting like acknowledgements and sometimes uh, before start of this uh, uh, frames transmission or acknowledgement transmission there should be a link established between one station and an another station there should be a link established between in order to establish the link that uh, sender will send a request saying that i want to make a connection i want to create a connection now receiver will depends on the capability may accept or may not accept if it is accepted positive response is given if it is not accepted that uh, connection at that time a reject message is given likewise there should be some pre work before da data transmission or acknowledgement transmission that pre work we call it as a connection management that connection when to open the connection when to disconnect the connection is taken care by some other kind of frames called as u frame okay i repeat hdfc frames are not always equal depends on the purpose of the communication if you want to send information from the sender that is one kind if you want to send synchronous information that we call it as acknowledgement related information then it is called as s frame and in order to maintain this connection and in order to disconnect it so there should be some link management or connection management activities those activities are passed with the help of a frame called u frame un unnumbered frame we call it as unnumbered frame okay let us discuss this uh, structures in detail one by one with each and every field yeah if you take first one uh, we call it as i frame that uh, definitions again projected in this i frame means it is going to pass the information from sender to receiver one node to another node he is having original data application data is there not synchronous or not link related data it is a data so if you have data data is sent with which kind of frame i frames and there is one called as supervisory supervisory means um, whether my data is received at receiver or not we came to know that by using acknowledgements right and uh, if the data is sent is properly received at the receiver or is there any corruptions in the middle and that we call it as error control mechanism so in order to send error control mechanism or flow control mechanism they make use of s kind frames s stands for supervisory frames it is going to monitor whether it is sent properly or not properly in the sense in the order or uh, whether it is corrupted in the middle or not these two activities are taken care by this kind of frames okay yes frame and there is one more i said already unnumbered unnumbered it is reserved for the system management system management means connection establishment before start of your entire tra data transmission there should be a connection existed right how a connection is established how a connection is uh, disconnected all these things are uh, taken care by u kind frames it is named as unnumbered frames link is maintained that link is maintained with the help of this kind of frames okay uh, we get into this frames in detail one by one now let us talk about this controlled field which is existed in all see this all the frames are having control field right so this we can understand why we use flag to identify where it is starting where it is ending that's okay and um, what is address means uh, to where you want to send this data as it, as it is an information and information has to reach the destination right the destination address has to be given here as it is a data link layer related work here it is making use of mac address physical addresses control information we will see what control information is available in i frame uh, s frame and u frame 
and there is one more user information so whatever the data given by the user that is included here and there is one more thing called fcs uh, frame checksum we call it as frame checksum which is used to identify whether there is any error in the data transmission now error control mechanism we will discuss that one in next uh, coming sessions but you remember frame checksum is the one which is used to uh, implement error control whether error is detected or if it is detected how do we correct that one all these things are implemented with the help of this frame checksum methodology there are many methodologies uh, one of the methodology they have taken like frame checksum and flag it is a <coughs> indicating the end of the frame so this way the first one is given i frame uh, when you talk about this one again flag same purpose at the same purpose control is having some predefined functionality for i s frames similarly and here management information means uh, connection related information at what time this connection is established at what time we need to disconnect it if it is disconnected in the middle how do we recover from that uh, connection loss all the things are given in this so now common thing is control what control information is provided for each and every individual frames like i frame s frame and u frame so now if you see this one uh, let me go to this yeah uh, these are the different uh, control fields existed for different kinds of frames in i frame it is byte actually a control frame is indicated with one byte information now i frame when you take i frame first of all we should understand one thing when frame is going in the data data transmission how it is identified as how it is identified as s frame or i frame or u frame so there should be a differentiation between one frame and another frame right so thus differentiation is indicated with control fields if control field is beginning with zero if control field is beginning with zero that frame is considered to be i frame and if control field is beginning with 10 these are specialized codes to indicate which kind of frame it is so you can answer this question how do we determine this frame is belongs to which category that is determined from control field bits control field beginning bits if beginning bit is 0 then you can call it as i frame if beginning bit is 10 that is called as s frame if beginning bit is 11 then that is called as u frame okay that's that's fine for this sake of understanding which kind of frame it is now remaining fields let us say in i frame if you take i frame as it is an information data frame contains what sequence number right that sequence number can be indicated here if you send a data frame that is having some sequence number right that sequence number is indicated and sometimes as as part of the piggy backing data frame also includes acknowledgments right and that acknowledgement number can be given in this place called number for receiver number for sender number for sender means sequence number number for receiver is acknowledgement so this way nf is nf or or acting like sequence number and acknowledgement number when information is passed to the receiver which is in i frame now you may observe one bit field called p and f now we should understand the direction we should understand the direction of data flow when frame is in the middle where it is going whether it is going to destination or whether it is going to uh, sender so that is indicated with this bit call as pole or final when p is set when p is set then it is moving from primary to secondary pole in the sense selection i want to send data to who to that system that called as polling and final in the sense response okay finally we got a response when this f bit is sent this is acting like a response this is acting like a response and that is moving towards destination from uh, sorry that is moving towards sender from the receiver when f is sent i repeat p and f are the bits which are used to identify in which direction this data is moving is it in the forward direction or is it in the reverse direction if it is in the forward direction that is sender to receiver that pole is activated if it is a response final bit is activated pole and final this is same for all the all the frames okay now when we see this one s frame s frame first two bits will indicate start of the frame i mean identification and now here is s frame contains data no s frame never contains the data it contains control information that control information is indicated with this code and then it is acting like an acknowledgement i said that acknowledgement number you can give here 
okay which kind of acknowledgement it is rejected acknowledgement nac acknowledgement or positive acknowledgement or negative acknowledgement all these things are indicated with this course which kind of acknowledgement we have sent whether this acknowledgement is moving from sender to receiver or receiver to sender that is indicated with again pole by f i mean pole and final when you talk about this one and this frame is identified with part 11 where you got two codes 0 0 and again i mean two bits for one code and two bits for another three bits for another and in the middle p by f is there combination combination of this will give you a which kind of frame it is it is for connection establishment or it is for establishing normal response mode or it is to establish a synchronous mode or it is to disconnect the connection such kind of combinations are there that we will see in the next slide so now i already addressed this uh, concept of information field contains the data sent by the receiver and whereas address address of the re receiver control information just now we come across this is what the total structure of this information field what a checksum will indicate means it is used for error detection it is used for error detection so this way information field contains information as well as checksum now if s frame is considered in s frame i already told you s frame is identified with what a 10 fields s frame is identified with a 10 when control field begins with 10 it is acting like s frame now in s frame there are two bit field to represent which kind of acknowledgement it is so here if you understand if code is 00 receiver is ready indicating that a sender can send the data receiver is ready to accept the next packet that is one kind of acknowledgement and then if that code is 01 if that code is 01 receiver reject that because of uh, the frame is corrupted the frame is disorder frame likewise what we have seen in the previous protocols if a frame is received it is discarded because of two reasons one is disordered frame expected one is 3 and we got 4 then reject it and one more thing is when a frame is received whether it is corrupted or not checked by the receiver if it is corrupted then also it is rejected so this way a frame can be rejected by setting these two fields code code field as 01 now when we take this one receiver not ready so buffer is full the buffer is full at the receiver it is not capable of accepting the frames coming frames it is not ready to accept the coming frames in that cases it will give a message saying that receiver is not ready in that case sender will suspend its data transmission or wait for some time uh, until that uh, receiver becomes available that is one kind of acknowledgement saying that i am not ready to receive the data and there is one more called as selective reject selective reject means in last protocol selective repeat protocol when we send the data all the data packet uh, all the frames are taken and uh, it is giving one negative acknowledgement saying that i want to get third frame i got 4 5 6 all i got uh, but i want to get only one frame which is corrupted or which is lost so that can be indicated with what negative acknowledgement that negative acknowledgement information is given with one kind of code call it as 11 which is selective reject so this way s field is existed with its uh, control bits four combinations 00011011 all are having some purpose now in this you can understand control field that is u, u field now this is for what uh, establishing the connection between two systems there are different codes available there are different codes if 00 followed by second of, uh, code bit as 001 we need to establish uh, synchronous normal mode synchronous normal mode likewise there exist different kinds of codes which are indicating which kind of activity is represented by this frame now so th this slide will give you the clear cut information if the code consisting of first two parts are 00 and the th second uh, code field is 001 set normal response mode set normal response mode which is extended uh, if you want to disconnect the connection some code is there if you want to establish the acknowledge i want to give an acknowledgement so you said i want to make a connection we get we uh, receiver given an acknowledgement that acknowledgement is represented with this one acknowledgement unnumbered acknowledgement because it is not data transfer if it is a data transfer numbered acknowledgements are used if it is only uh, link related information then only unnumbered acknowledgements are used likewise there exists many if you want to reset the connection we have one code if you want to uh, re reject the connection we have one code likewise there exists many uh, combinations which will represent different kinds of management information to maintain this link okay
so next slide we will see uh, how these uh, frames are used so based on that concept uh, node a want to communicate with node b which kind of frames are sent uh, u frames are sent because uh, connection establishment frames we call it as connection establishment frames so that's the reason u frame is taken and when when u frame is there control field first two bits are 11 one, one, and connection establishment is indicated with 11 one, one followed by 100 so then connection establishment request whenever it is accepted unnumbered acknowledgement is given unnumbered acknowledgement is given with a code of 00 followed by 1100 as these both are field same fields like uh, unnumbered fields which is indicated with 11 at the beginning so this way connection is established and data transfer is taken place and later you want to disconnect the connection then sender will send a uh, management u frame which indicates code for disconnection and then receiver will okay i also accepted for uh, disconnection that is indicated with uh, one more code acknowledgement field right so this way connection establishment is estab uh, connection is established with the help of uh, u frames u frame for con uh, connection acknowledgement it is for disconnection and acknowledgement this way the that uh, communication is taken place in hdlc protocol to make a connection between two nodes similarly we have one more slide which represent piggybacking data transfer if you want to uh, pass okay con uh, consider that data trans uh, connection is established now what we can do is we can do data transfer data transfer without error we want to do so now if it is a case we, uh, which kind of frames we use for data transfer i frames i frames are indicated with which field 0 um, 0 is beginning in the control field and to where you are going to send b station so address is b flag is okay data is there fc fcs is there and then uh, what control information it is going to hold 0 and 0 see this 0 and 0 so me, mean what is the meaning of this one 0 and 0 and what is the meaning of this 1 0 all these things are this indicates what acknowledgements right in i frame 0 means 0th frame is sent and 1 means first frame is sent as a response acknowledgement is what two and it is sending which frame zero eighth frame and uh, b b station is sending first frame and giving an acknowledgement as two similarly b station so this is i frame for two second frame so likewise in this two frames are sent from the node a numbered with uh, sequence number zero and one zero and one as there is no previous uh, acknowledgements it is set to zero and when this node b started data transmission it sends acknowledgement this time acknowledgement for previously received previously received frame is what uh, one so acknowledgement is two and data sent is what zero data sent is one data sent is two likewise three frames are sent from b station two frames are sent from a station both are piggybacking see acknowledgement is included in that data frame that's the reason it is called as big piggybacking and after that what do you want to do is we want to this time node a is not having data to send in that case it has to prepare what acknowledgement only acknowledgements are given with which kind of uh, frames um, s frames so one s frame is prepared it is just like a uh, acknowledgement that is receiver is ready so it is going to node a is accepted the frame and it is expecting next frame that is indicated by this acknowledgement okay in this slide we, uh, it is going to explore if loss is there how it is going to react loss of frame so see this node a receiving information from the node b okay first zeroth frame is received next first frame is sent but it is lost in the middle and what happens second frame is sent here it is discarded here it is discarded because it is uh, implementation of go back end in go back end whatever the frame expected that only sent so now what happens means negative acknowledgement is saying that uh, uh, it is expect uh, expected one is this when expected one is sent the uh, corresponding frame is recent again recent from the nac if you have sent three but uh, problem is at second one only then what we need to do is we need to retransmit second and third so that is what retransmission so recent those two frames once those frames are received one acknowledgement is given this way total connection establishment and data transfer with error without error piggybacking all these things are implemented with the help of corresponding bits placed in the code field corresponding bits placed in the code field in the implementation process of hdlc okay uh, let us stop up to this point and in next class we talk about error control and error detection mechanisms